Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to focus on the references section of the resume or CV. So there are two schools of thought on writing out references. So number one is you can write out the names of two people who you wish to include along with their contact details. However, please be aware that the person that you or person or persons that you do write down are aware. And the reason they need to be aware is number one, their contact details may have changed. So if an employer rings and they can't get through or the number's dead, it doesn't look good. It's a bad reflection upon you. Second of all, you need to make sure they're aware so they can collate their thoughts, collate any information they need to be able to have a conversation with any potential employer about you. So no problem doing it this way, but make sure that the people you do wish to include are aware that they may be contacted. The second way to do it is really simple, which is just state excellent references available on request. Again, just a simple way of doing it, and it doesn't include anybody's details or any personal details. Now, at the end of the interview process, so if you've been successful with your resume, if you've then gone to the interview and done well, that's when employers will want to review your references. So what a good tip here is, is to have the references on letterheaded paper, whether they be from a school teacher, work experience placement, or a previous employer, and take them into the interview with you. If you take them in, it looks more professional. Now, employers may still want to validate, or they may want to ask some questions, but what it does show is your willingness and your initiative, and this is something most of your competition won't be doing.